Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, Cyanobacteria or Blue-Green Algae. Cyanobacteria is the group of gram-negative autotrophic bacteria. They have ability of photosynthesis. It means they fulfill their nutritional requirement through the process of photosynthesis and release oxygen as byproduct in the environment. Other names of cyanobacteria are blue-green bacteria or cyanophyta. Cyanobacteria contain chlorophyll A which gives them a green color but they also have accessory pigments such as phycocyanin which is blue in color and phycoerythrin which is red in color. This combination results in a blue-green appearance which is why they are commonly called as blue-green algae but they are not true algae. Cyanobacteria appear on earth around 3.5 billion years ago. By continuously producing and releasing oxygen over billions of years, cyanobacteria converted earth environment from anoxic to oxidizing one with free gaseous oxygen. And free oxygen is essential for shaping any life form. Thus, cyanobacteria are considered first living entity on the earth. Habitat Cyanobacteria are ubiquitous in nature, that means they can be found in all types of aquatic and terrestrial environment like fresh water, marine water, frozen water, marshes, moist soil, moist rock, tree trunk, springs, etc. Cell structure of cyanobacteria Cyanobacterial cell is larger and more elaborate than bacterial cell. Like bacteria, they are also prokaryotic in nature. It means they don't have definite nucleus in their cell. What are the cell components which any cyanobacterial cell have? Sheath, cell wall, plasma membrane, thylakoid, phycobilisome, gas vacuole, carboxysome, nucleoid, ribosomes and inclusion bodies. Let's discuss them one by one. S layer is the outermost membrane. This loose mucilaginous layer is known as sheath or slime layer. Sheath is made up of pectic like substances, that is why it is mucilaginous in nature. It provides protection to the cell from unfavorable conditions and it also keeps the cell moist. Thickness of the sheath varies and it depends on the environmental conditions. Cell wall Cell wall is present between sheath and plasma membrane mainly made up of peptidoglycan. It is four-layer structure. Layers are named as L1, L2, L3 and L4. L1 and L3 are electron-dense layers and L2 and L4 are transparent layers. All the layers are porous and interconnected. Like gram-negative bacteria, cyanobacteria also contains mucopolymer. Lipid and lipopolysaccharides are also detected in the cell of cyanobacteria. Plasma membrane Bilayered selectively permeable plasma membrane present in the cyanobacteria. A selectively permeable membrane means membrane allows only some substances and molecules to pass into or leave the cell. Thickness of the plasma membrane is around 70 angstrom. It encloses cytoplasm and other cell inclusions. Cytoplasm Cytoplasm is viscous transparent semi-liquid fluid which contains all the cell inclusions necessary for the cell functions. What are these cell inclusions? The first is thylakoids, also known as photosynthetic lamellae. These are flattened vesicular structure can be present on periphery or in the center. Apart from photosynthesis, thylakoids also perform phosphorylation, Hill reaction and respiration. Thylakoids contains pigment like chlorophyll A or C, carotenoids, xanthophylls and proteins essential for photosynthetic process. Phycobilisomes Outer surface of thylakoids studded with particles called phycobilisomes. Phycobilisomes comprises of three pigments, phycocyanin C, allophycocyanin and phycoerythrin C. These accessory pigments both screen and protect the chlorophyll from damaging UV light and also trap photons and allow them to reach the chlorophyll. Basically, phycobilisomes act as antenna. They absorb the light energy and transfer it to the chlorophyll for photosynthesis. Due to the different color of pigments, cyanobacteria are not always blue-green. They may appear purplish, violet and brownish, etc. Gas vacuoles 
These are gas filled rod like vesicles present at periphery which regulates buoyancy of the cell. What is buoyancy? When it submerged an object in liquid, it will float and rise. So due to the presence of gas vacuole, cyanobacterial cell does not sink into the water or any fluid. Instead, float on surface and provide optimal light for photosynthesis to the cell. Gas vesicles mainly present in aquatic cyanobacteria. Cyanophysin Cyanophysin are large polypeptide molecule around 500 nanometer. They present near periphery of the cell. They help in nitrogen metabolism. Carboxysomes Carboxysomes are polyhedral bodies of around 200 to 300 nanometer in size. Carboxysome consists the main enzyme involved in photosynthesis known as Rubisco enzyme. Chemical name is rubylose 15 biphosphate carboxylase. Carboxysome concentrates carbon dioxide and also enhances the efficiency of Rubisco enzyme. Genetic material Genetic material of cyanobacterial cell is DNA which is suspended in cytoplasm and held together by histone protein. Ribosomes 70S ribosomes are present throughout the cytoplasm. Other inclusion bodies present in the cell are alpha granules, beta granules and volutine granules. Morphology of cyanobacterial cell Cell can be spherical and ovoid, unicellular, they can be colonial, filamentous, spiral, Unsheet trichome can be seen, sheet trichome also present, false branching is there and of course there is true branching also. Beside vegetative cell, cyanobacterial cell also have specialized structures. The first is heterocyst. Heterocysts are specialized thick wall cells contain nitrogenase enzyme. Nitrogenase enzyme is necessary for nitrogen fixation. These cells function in anaerobic environment. The next one is echinates. When environmental conditions become harsh, cyanobacteria form climate resistant spores called echinates. It is the resting stage of the cell. Homogonia. Homogonia are reproductive or motile part of filament. Few immotile cyanobacterial species produce chains of motile cells for dispersion that detach from the parent filament and may give rise to the new cell chain. Different type of movements present in cyanobacterial cell. The first one is gliding movement which is supported by homogonia. Next one is waving motion with the filament oscillating back and forth. Next one is floating movement due to the presence of gas vesicles. Economic importance of cyanobacteria. They can be used as natural fertilizers. Certain species of blue-green algae fix atmospheric nitrogen and provide to the plant and crops which is essential for the growth. Species such as Nostoc, Oscillatoria, Cytonema, and Spirulina are commonly used as biofertilizers in the rice fields. Food source Spirulina is particularly popular food item in many countries. It is valued for its complete protein profile and high vitamin content. Medicinal applications From the extract of Lingbaya, several antibiotics can be manufactured. Mosquito control. Several species of cyanobacteria are used to prevent the growth of mosquitoes larvae nearby, example Anabina and Olucera. Wastewater treatment. Blue-green algae can contribute to the wastewater treatment by absorbing nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus which can lead to algal blooms in natural water bodies. Tolipothrix cyton used for industrial wastewater treatment and Olocera fertilisima used for fish pond discharge treatment. Potential biofuel Blue-green algae rapid growth rates and ability to survive in various conditions make them attractive candidates for renewable fuel production. Cyanococcus, Anabina and Nostoc are promising candidates for biofuel. Some cyanobacterial species produce some kind of toxins which may be very harmful to the most of the aquatic animals. The important toxin producing cyanobacteria are microcystic aeruginosa and anabina flosacae.